Well, this is my new update on some little few things I've been doing to my RC collection. Well, you know, this is RC10 GT. I did them over, put a lighter servo in front for the steering. I'm not going to do too much off roading with him. He's going to be a streetcar. Fast response. Um, also, added back on his boost bottle, custom made. You won't find one, so don't bother looking for it that, that has this type of racing specs and promotional stickers on it. And it is enameled and it is locked in. It is hard. Here. It's hard. Hard enamel over, you know, what you usually see and get. Because it is a racing spec custom. Um. A couple more on design right now. I'm building two for my boy. And these aren't the average size boost bottles, as you can see. They're a little bit, you know, bigger. You know, what we use is what we promote. At least what I use is what I promote on my boy's vehicles. What we use in our vehicles is what I put on, put on the boost bottles when I make them. You know. This is for this, you know. Yeah. yeah, slight update, slight update video. Just promoting the boost bottle designs. This is my very first one. I had to touch him up, but he still works, still good. No problems. No problems, whatever. The workbench. Can't wait to start him up and see him perform. Sin. Uh, got back an axle. One more to go. And he's back up. Just need a servo and, and a receiver. And he's back. It ain't nothing. One, two, three is RC. RC game is easy. If you don't know, it's a one on one course you got to take. Um, but this is a short update on my RC collection. Just trying to show off my boost bottles that I made. And these aren't the little ones you usually see. These are a slight bigger. Are tuned. Limited specs. Four spec special. Clean, 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 clean. Yeah, homemade posts. Your, your plastic hangers save you some money. I'm building some posts for your vehicles when you're raising or dropping or if they break. Uh, hangers from your home, hangers. Yeah, that's about it. That's a quick update. Quick, 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 quick. Uh, can't wait to start him up and get him going. Yeah, trust me, it has a power. Yeah, that's my battery. My batteries, you know, the test batteries is going down low. It ain't nothing, but as you can see. Strictly up for racing. He's no longer that any pole start you and put you in a track. This is straight heads up racing. So when you're ready, you're ready. Let's do it. All right. Let's go. Brooklyn Hobbies, Richie, big up. Thanks for your assistance over the years. Ideas. 
conversations. I'm gonna add all these parts of this RS Super Nitro came from Brooklyn Hobbies. So they all my parts that I rebuilt the RC10 GT came from Brooklyn Hobbies. Custom made muff. I, this is the original muffler, but I hated it. You have to push the damn plastic tube inside the silicon tube. No pressure really, it's not reliable. Close it up, aluminum airplane tape, lock them around, re tap it through, at a good point, put a nipple in, and this is secure. Secure. And my, of course, my homemade decals to put onto the side. As you can see, it's a big ass 21 V spec. It's mounted, it's in there. RC10 overload. Hope y'all see this video, Team Associated, and do some work back in y'all vehicles and bring back some of y'all monsters out. You know? As you can see, the tracks are saying up there. My T Max, I took him down, gotta work on the transmission. But you can see it's, it's finished. He's ready. My GTR. Got line body, painted them over all white. It was blue, protoform stickers. Like I said, I promote what I use. I like the drift style to it. Put the sticker decals, Nismo, protoform. It is the original GTR body. And I also got my original over here, RC10 GT body. Yeah, I know this is a track, just four tracks, but I took him and he works perfect with the RC10 GT. My quadcopters, my helicopter. Yeah, quick click a little, quick click over here. My Coleco, a little champagne celebrating, but back over here quick. Um, Take a quick look down here. You can see, like I said, they're off the wall. He is finished. Auto start underneath. Don't need to go there and start up anymore. A lot of trouble solved. See on the sensor down fast. Can't see a swing. There we go. And that's my boy Savage. He needs a little tune up, but I gotta take off the pole start. Bullshit. The road will start back on him. Get him back up and going for him. But he's a platform for me mocking my T Max back up to kill the Savage. Because this is the new one with a bigger motor. This is the T-Max that they made this shit, the Savage, to beat. We'll have to resurrect the T-Max, make him new, do a lot of new shit to him, lighten him up, steering better, and he is going to kill the Savage, take back his throne. He's king of the four-wheel drive, okay? No disrespect to the Savage, but too many wheelies. Who's going to wheelie in a truck all goddamn day? It's your face to fact. You want to do, make the shit work like the real shit? Let's begin to this hobby. Let's be real. I'm not a connoisseur. I'm a hobbyist. I love this shit. My little sneaker collections, but whatever. That's not the hero there. My Nova Rossi parts, engine parts, workbench, workbench, workbench. I got to clear all the shit in my son's room just now, but this was once my room, so you know what it says. When it's time I'll do it, you got to live with it, but here we go. Uh, boost bottles, homemade, they do work, trust me, you don't believe me, you can call Rich here at Brooklyn Hobbies asking about this video, give him the link, give him the channel, he knows the car, he knows me, he can tell you that shit works.
I don't like to see shit on a car. All them tubings, all those long wires, and you know, you need to shorten it up. Remember now, we are driving small scales with a real vehicle. And there's no way you see tubes hanging around for gasoline and shit. Unless you go certain places that's under the hood. And when you do look, they're still neat, right? So why not your car look neat? It's easy to clean. Feel free, leave your comments. I'm not just posting for you to watch. I wish if you leave comments, I know your opinions on what I'm doing. You know, if you like it, yes or no, give me your heads up. You know, I promote my local hobby shop. They hook me up, they help me out. You know, like I said, big up Richie, big up everybody over there. Brooklyn Hobbies, Flatlands, and Flatlands, 34th and Flatlands. Don't forget, Brooklyn Hobbies. My light kit, I had to put my light kit back up as yet, but I'm about to put him back on. Don't know what vehicle is yet to put him on to, but he's, he's going back up. If you want to buy him, you probably got to give me like 800 without a body, which I doubt if I sell. It'll be a joke even if it's, you know, just to tease you, I'll give you a price, which isn't far-fetched. You see a single speed, but it does have the, it's, the, it's too fast with the two speed so I took it off and made a one speed so it's just where it should be it'll still kick your ass with your two speed don't get it twisted remember the only other car that could beat me would be this car and you don't got one which is a serpent with this engine which is an overrace which is in this car so think again and Brooklyn Hobbies Richie once again I'm gonna say it I'm gonna repeat y'all plug you every which way big up Thank you. Thanks a lot. The beast is alive. RC10 GT. Mad. T Max. Call it Mad Max. Overload. Sin Rally. Quad copter helicopters. I don't have the biggest collection, but I have an all-purpose rounded collection. That's all I got to ask for. So I have a vehicle for everyone of y'all asses who think you could race. You could drop every car you have, 401, 501. I'll beat everyone, each one. And that's once again, thanks my local Brooklyn hobby store, Brooklyn Hobbies, Flatland, Flatbush. That's all till next time.